Hey guys, Mr. Mew Man back here again today. And today we have the Dreadnought theme deck from uh, Vivid Voltage. So I do like to open these up to see what uh, exclusive cards they include in these decks because I do like to include these in my master sets. So that's why I usually open up both. We did the Charizard one the other day, which of course had that uh, shattered hollow of a Charizard. And then it also had the non-hollow exclusive Leon. So we will open this up. Let's see here, without everything falling out here. And see what we have included in this one. So of course we have our Shattered Hollow of Dreadnought. So Dreadnought, of course, is a non-hollow rare in the normal set. And you can get it in reverse hollow. And this is the Shattered Hollow version of it. So I do like to include that. Nice Dreadnought coin. Set that off here to the side. Um, so of course we have Playmat with Dreadnought and Charizard on it looks like. So this one has Dreadnought. And then of course we have a little rules guide here. So of course learning how to play. This will kind of walk you through. And then we have Poison and Burn markers. And this should show what uh, what is all included in the set here. So if I was to find Dreadnought here, so we see Dreadnought and it says that it is a normal rare as you can see there. And this gives us the hollow rare exclusive. So, and then of course some, some damage counters. So all right, we'll move this off to the side here. We will open this up and see what else is included here in this Dreadnought theme deck. Okay, so a lot, a lot of water energies we're going to see, so I'm going to keep them off to the side here. It looks like we do have the, the Dewat and the Oshwat line, so I'm going to keep those off to the side. We do have, looks like a couple co copies of Nessa, of course, with uh, putting any combination of four water Pokemon and um, uh, water energies into your deck, or from your discard pile into your hand, which is great for what I believe is the Aracuda line that I think is going to be in here, or Cramorant, I think is what it is. So Bead and Great Ball, some of the trainers here. We have a Sonya. Yep, here we go. So here's the Cramorant that basically discards any number of Aracuda from your bench um, and does 60 damage for each one. So we are going to see, I'll keep that over here. We're going to see that and probably some Aracuda, or not Aracuda. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And Samurott, of course, is the other one, um, the other attacker I guess so to say in this. So here's our Aracuda that we're basically going to be launching with our Cramorant. You can kind of see Cramorant there in the background. So and then here is our normal Dreadnought Rare. We got a Switch, a very useful trainer and Hop which is nothing too special and Dan. Another Water Energy and then of course Nessa again. Here's the Oshawott and then now we have a non-hollow professor's research. So this is basically back to the uh, Sword and Shield base set, and it is a hollow in that base set, and it's a non-hollow here. But that's a that's an exclusive that's been in almost every theme deck, I believe, and um, quite a bit of products you can get the non-hollow Professor's Research. So it's not limited to just this theme deck. So Evolution's Incense and another Water Energy, and a Wishy Washy, another Oshawott, another Energy and a Choodle, and another Dewat, and then we got another Aracuda, and another Hop. Water Energy and Sonya. I got another Aracuda. So it looks like we got three of those so far. Great Ball. Here's another Professor's Research. And they do give us uh, the Barrascuda in here. The one that basically attacks um, 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon for each damage counter. So it could be a very, very, very useful card. Um, especially for finish finishing off your opponent, someone on their bench. So another Switch. And another Dan. And another Bead. Nothing exciting there. Water Energy and Samurott, Dewat and Nessa, Water Energy and another Wishy Washy, Cramorant and Choodle. And to finish this up, we have Hop, Water Energy, Oshawott, oops, and then another Dreadnought. So um, out of this theme deck, the only exclusive card for Vivid Voltage is going to be this Hollow Dreadnought, which is a little disappointing. I do like it when they include at least one other non Hollow exclusive. Um, as I said, they do have the Professor's Research here, which I guess I put that. That is a non-hollow. But uh, at least the Charizard deck had the non-hollow Leon that I like to include. 
Uh, and this really didn't have anything else to put in there. Um, I mean, it had the full Samurott line. Um, and then, of course, that one bear Scuda. But those are normally rares in the set already. So nothing too special about this deck. Um, it does look fun to play, you know, with basically Nessa resetting all your Aracuda that you'll be launching with your Cramorant. Um, and then, uh, of course, having having Dreadnought, uh, not the most amazing for three energies doing that 80 damage. And basically, if you played Nessa, you paralyze them. Um, nothing too spectacular, though. I, I do think the Charizard deck's probably a little bit better. Uh, being able to hit for 300 for two energies is actually really great in the theme deck format. Of course, with Dreadnought, you are hitting weakness. Um, yeah, but overall, nothing too spectacular about this deck um, as far as um, extra... Uh, cards that would be useful for playability. You got your professor's research, and that's that's about it. But uh, that yeah, that does it. About does it for this opening. Um, and I guess th this will be the second of the Viva Voltage decks that I have done. And we'll wait for the next set or the next set of theme decks to come out uh, before I get into any more of those. But yeah, if you guys liked it, give us a like, subscribe. Thank you for joining, and we'll see you next time.